Hello, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and subscribe if you like and hit the like button if you like. <laughs> welcome. And um, this is a late night video for me, but I won't publish it until tomorrow. But I would like to do this one. So uh, this is uh, Democrats vote against hiring more Border Patrol agents as arrests reach record 2 million. What a shame. The latest migrant encounter and arrest figures from the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, the CBP, not only mark a new record, but also prove that there isn't just a problem at the southern border, but a serious crisis. However, rather than hiring more Border Patrol agents to help at the border, Democrats are in instead focused on hiring more IRS agents, an agency where the current number of agents already suppress the number of the CBP agents by 59,125. Democrats would rather audit Americans than secure the border. When they passed their reckless spending bill, they voted against hiring more Border Patrol agents Instead, they spent $46 billion to hire 87,000 IRS agents, Senate Republicans said on Twitter. Biden administration officials announced Monday that over the past 11 months, U.S. authorities have made more than 2 million immigration arrests along the southern border. This marks the first time annual enforcement statistics have exceeded that threshold. The Washington Post said. Under the Inflation Reduction Act, voted in favor of by every Senate Democrat and negotiated by Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, the Inter Inter Internal Revenue Service, IRS, would receive $80 billion in funding to hire as many as 87,000 additional staffers to increase tax audits monitoring on Americans according to the Washington Free Beacon. See, they care more about our business than taking care of the poor immigrants trying to come to this country. The increase, <coughs> excuse me, this increase would more than double the agency's current employee numbers and will allow the IRS to employ more bureaucrats than the Pentagon, State Department, FBI, and the Border Patrol combined, the report says. Federal statistics show the IRS currently has 78,661 full-time employees, the Free Beacon said. Under the Inflation Reduction Act, this workforce number would rise to 165,661 CP. CBP, meanwhile, currently employs 19,536 Border Patrol agents. The FBI employs about 35,000 people. State Department employs about 77,250. The Pentagon employs roughly 27,000. The latest figures show that the CBP detained 203,598 immigrants attempting to cross over from Mexico in August alone. This puts authorities on pace to reach more than 2.3 million arrests during the government's 2022 fiscal year, which ends September 30th. The Washington Free Beacon said immigration authorities have been reporting the highest ever daily numbers of migrants entering the United States along the southwest border. Data from the International Department of Homeland Security shows Border Patrol officers are logging roughly 8,000 migrant encounters per day as of September 15th. Despite those numbers, the National Republican Senatorial Committee, NRSC, press released reported last month that Senate Democrats voted unanimously against Senator Rick Scott's Republican from Florida measured to 
prioritize prioritize hiring hiring border patrol agents over hiring IRS audit agents. Boy, somebody's got their wires crossed. They don't know what the hell they're doing, do they? No, they sure don't. My goodness sakes alive. Huh. It's just unreal. Hmm. My goodness. Well, let's see if I can find something else here. I think I got a couple more to go. Let's move this over a little bit. And what's this got to do with? Oh, that's not it. Alright, let's see what this is. I'm just going down my list here. Hang on. <laughs> this may be a real short video. Uh, yes, Toby Keith passed away yesterday. Yeah. That, I don't know if it's true or not because you know. Uh, you get on the YouTube channels. And one day we're going to get $2,000 check. The same day, we're going to get $1,500 check, $1,000 check. Each one has a different price. Why don't they all get together in one room and decide which is the truth? You know, which is the truth? Now here, here's one. It says, scary prediction, IRS sending $750 checks for stimulus. Well, there's a new total, $750 now. My goodness. It said Toby Keith passed away suddenly. Uh, I think he had stomach cancer. Yeah, I think he did, if I remember correctly. Uh, my mm, condolences go out to his family, his children, all his fans. I loved his music. Especially that one where he's a patient in the ambulance and he tries to flirt with the nurse. You all remember that video? That is so cute. Boy, she got even with him. He hit her on the butt. No, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have done that. That was, a, that was really a cute video. My goodness sakes alive. No, you can't... Uh, all these channels have got different things for this and different things for that. And uh, it just uh, it just don't add up and it gets you frustrated. Well, which is it? Which true? Are we going to see 2,000? Are we going to see 1,000? Are we going to see 750? Are we going to see 2,500? You know, go on, go on, go on, go on. It's just something else. You never know. Here is uh, the last one that I did here, uh, just I think it was yesterday morning, early, and uh, it this is another sad one, but a Georgia mother found dead after sending a disturbing last text to her daughter. Yeah, police in Georgia discovered the dead body of Debbie Collier a day after she vanished, but the mystery of her disappearance remains unsolved. Yeah, let me get over here where I can get to the thing. On September the 11th, investigators found Collier's body in a ravine near her rental vehicle off Highway 441 in Habersham County, Georgia. Collier had gone missing the day before, which is when her daughter, Amanda Berardin, filed a missing persons report. She told police that after receiving an unexpected Venmo transfer, V-E-N-M-O, Venmo transfer of 
$385, she received the following text message from her mother. They are not going to let me go. Love you. Oh, so sad. Since Collier's vehicle had Cyrus XM satellite radio, investigators contacted Cyrus, S-I-R-I-U-S, XM, to track down the location of the vehicle. Based on the information they provided, police were able to find Collier's vehicle 60 miles north of Athens, where Collier resides. With the help of a canine unit, investigators located Collier's body in a ravine nearby along a red tote bag and a partially burned blue tarp. My goodness. So far, investigators are treating the death as a homicide. Police have yet to release information concerning the motive or possible suspects. Collier was married in 2013. She worked as the front office manager at Carriage House Realty in Athens. Her friends and family have declined to speak publicly, publicly about the tragedy. Well, you can't blame them. My heart goes out to them. It just, there is so much that's just going on in this world. I mean, stuff like that has gone on for years and years and years, but with all this new stuff being thrown at people and it's just you just don't know which way to turn look up down sideways anyways you know it's just DOJ charges 47 massive 250 million dollar pandemic fraud there's another one the Department of Justice on Tuesday announced that 47 individuals are charged in a sweeping 250 million scheme to steal from federal program to feed at risk children during the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope them people can live with themselves. The DOJ said that dozen of defendants face charges, conspiracy, wire fraud, money laundering, and bribery in an operation based in Minnesota that is called the largest COVID-19 fraud scheme in the nation. Lord, Lord have mercy. According to the agency, the defendants worked to defraud the Federal Child Nutrition Program when they obtained, misappropriated, and laundered millions of dollars in program funds. This money was earmarked to reimburse costs for feeding needy children during the pandemic. Prosecutors say the funds were instead misappropriated to enrich the defendants with hundreds of millions of dollars. To stave off hunger during the height of the pandemic, the U.S. DA set aside some of the normal requirements for participation in the program. The agency allowed retail, retail restaurants to participate and permit off-site distribution of food apart from educational settings. The DOJ reports the defendants set up shell companies connected to a Minnesota-based nonprofit called Feeding Our Future to take advantage of the federal program. Feeding Our Future, the DOJ alleges recruited people and businesses to implement federal child nutrition program sites across Minnesota. Within a few weeks of being organized, these sites claim to be feeding thousands of children daily. Fraudulent claims, prosecutors said, was submitted to the Minnesota Department of Education. This body was in charge of administrating the federal program within the state. U.S. Attorney Andrew M. Luger of the District of Minnesota said the defendants diverted the funds to their own greed. The money was used for everything from homes, luxury cars, and jewelry to buying beachfront property abroad. Prosecutors say that some of the defendants have turned themselves in to authorities or been arrested through many have fled the country. Feeding Our Future moved from disturbing roughly $3.4 million in federal dollars in 2019 to almost $200 million in 2021. The indictment said the entity fraudulently obtained and dispersed more than $240 million in federal funds intended for needy children. You just never know, do you? You just never, ever know. My goodness. 
You never, ever, ever know. Gosh, it's unbelievable what, unbelievable, you know, to take food away from children. I mean, that, that's unbelievable. How, how, how can they live with themselves? I don't know. Leave me a comment. Well, this is very late. It's 3, 53 a.m. my time. And uh, I'm going to say goodnight. And uh, I forgot to wave goodbye on the last one, but I was coming back anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. God bless. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And say your prayers. God love each and every one of you. I sure do. Good night. Always have trouble finding my cam. <laughs>